Waste another day, eyes on my display. You say we need a change, and I feel that you mean it. You mean it. But you're so right, we're losing track of time, buying things online, and it's not. Alright everybody, so the first thing that you actually want to do is you want to head over to the website that will be linked into the in the description and it'll take you to this side, rainmeter.net, it's their official website and you download Rainmeter from here. Now, um, when you get on the front page you'll see two downloads, a beta release and then a final release or a stable release. Now I actually recommend downloading the beta release um, just because it's newer and there's basically no bugs that I've experienced with. Uh, 4.3.1 is a little bit older, so some newer um, skins may not work with it properly. So I recommend actually downloading the beta release. Uh, if you still want to download the final release, that's fine. Um, basically, all skins will work. It was only like one I've had an issue with before, uh, but yeah. So as you see here, I'm going to click download beta, and it will start downloading. Now I'm going to cancel this because I already have it downloaded and I'm going to open it up for you guys right now. So head over to your downloads folder, that's normally where it's saved and we're going to open up the rain meter installer. So as you see here the rain meter installer is open and you're going to choose standard installation. You don't want to choose portable installation uh, because that's not necessary. Then click next, um, all you really have to do then is put uh, where you want the program to be uh, saved and then also choose any additional options like launch rain meter on startup which I recommend keeping enabled. That's it, uh, I'm not going to do this obviously, I already have it installed but uh, click install and it will get started. So when you open up rain meter for the first time it's going to look something like this. So you have this massive thing saying welcome to rain meter and then we'll also have this pre-installed skin pack called Illustro. Now I don't really like it, it's quite old style, but if you do, you can keep it. It has all these icons and it also has other icons that you can be configured with in here. I'll talk about this in a little bit. Uh, but the first thing that I'd recommend doing is clicking finding skins. And this will take you to a web page. Um, I'll take you over here and all... Um, will be this discover page and it will show you where you can download some skins. Now the deviant art is probably the best place to find skins. These aren't that great. A lot of the stuff is quite old on there. So I recommend going straight to their deviant art. And there's gonna be a lot of skins here. So obviously you got all this stuff and if you keep on scrolling down, like let's say we want to go to the featured uh, skins, there's all kinds of stuff in there. So you got Wisp, You've got like all of this really cool stuff and you can all download this and you can all set it up and it's really easy to do and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Alright, so in the description below I have multiple skins linked. So I've got Translucent, Translucent Taskbar, I've also got uh, Elegance 2, I've got Honeycomb and I've also got Google Weather. In order to download this you will need a DeviantArt account excluding Google Weather because it's not on DeviantArt. Uh, it is quite annoying having to have an account for DeviantArt but... You can ask DeviantArt about that. So anyway, to download skins is very easy. So once you've registered for an account on DeviantArt, all you need to click here is the download button and it will start downloading. And you want to do this with every single one here. Now for the Google Weather one, you simply click download on their website and you want to click uh, this last one here. It will be the, yeah, it's the 2020 12th of the 5th skin. It's that one. That's because it's the newest one. These ones are both older ones. So just download this one here. It's the last one. So once you have all of these downloaded, you'll see this. Now ignore this top one. We didn't download that. That was just a test that I was doing earlier. But you'll have all of these downloaded. Uh, to install them, it's really easy. As you know, they all have their own little file, exten um, file extension, their rain meter skins. And if you double click on them, uh, it will come up with two things. Now, this would also be selected, so you, uh, it doesn't matter. You'd come up with this, and it will say translucent taskbar. That's just the name of this skin, but it will be whatever name of the skin. Show the author, the version, and then it will show the included components. Make sure this stuff is selected. And then all you have to click is install, and that's it. So as you see here, it's installing. And there you go. So now it's installed, and this is showed up again. Now, what I recommend doing is um, simply for this Illustro, uh, Illustro stuff is to just unload each skin uh, just because it's a bit annoying to have them in your face all the time. 
uh, and I don't really like them so just unload their skins and then now as I download as I've now installed um, the transparent taskbar I can go into skins translucent taskbar and click sample.ini and as you see here my taskbar is now transparent uh, so this is really cool um, and you do this with every other skin so now once so now the next thing that you want to do is install all these skins. So once you've got all your skins installed, uh, to enable them it's very simple. So go to your skins tab over here. And as you see here you'll have all these. So you have like before translucent taskbar, you also have illustro which was what was enabled before that comes with the program. And you also have honeycomb, google weather and also elegance. Um, so to set these up is very simple so every single skin that you download is different and I can show you this because, uh, so let's take honeycomb for example you see all this stuff on your screen so these are all icons so in order to enable them let's say I want a minecraft icon I'm gonna go for the alternate icon and I'll show up with this little minecraft thing right here so if I want to get another icon um, I have to go back into skins then go to honeycomb and then let's say I also want a you know a steam icon wherever that is here we go uh, steam icon and then I click steam.ini and then the other steam icon shows up and then I snap them together now this can be a little bit annoying particularly with uh, honeycomb because there's a lot of icons that you need to choose but for other stuff it's very simple <laughs> like elegance um, so with elegance it's very simple to set up all you have to do is clock then I'm going to do horizontal and as you see here, the clock shows up. It might be in a little different color, you can change it there. And you can choose what color it is. And and as you see here, I'm starting to now create my desktop and it's starting to, well, take its own shape. So I can basically do whatever. So let's say I want another thing from Elegance. Let's say I want the date as well. So as you see here, I've got the date and uh, it, it works really well. So I'm going to fast forward a bit and I'm just going to customize this desktop and I can show you what I've uh, ended up with after. And you can do the same, it's really easy. Times to color glass. Time rolls on enough to let me move on past But every little now and then it creeps on back to shape my smile Alright, so as you see here, it literally took me about five minutes and I was able to get this really cool looking background. I've got this uh, weather thing up here, I've got a clock and then I've got the date right here. And I've also got these icons, these all work. So if I want to go to YouTube, I simply click the YouTube icon and then it, well, it sends me to YouTube. Uh, that's basically it. And I've also got these little CPU RAM um, download and upload speed. Uh, uh, icons and they they look really good and uh, you're able to basically customize your desktop the way how you want it and in terms of Windows you really can't do that you can only really set your desktop background that's only what Windows allows you to do you can't go further and add custom icons or like anything like that and this is why this application is so good it makes uh, your desktop look way cleaner and it just makes it look way cooler all overall and if you also add other themes like custom made themes to discord f by other applications and then uh add icons that suit that theme your windows 10 can look really sleek and um that's just one of the many things that you can do with rain meter um so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, it was a huge blast, and um, yeah, uh, hopefully uh, you now know what Raymeter is, and uh, you can use it. It's uh, a lot similar to what I did with WinArrow Tweaker when I made that video quite a while back. I can put it up uh, on screen now, and you can also check it up on the cards. 
And um, Winnow Retreaker, in my opinion, is still the best customization tool for Windows 10. If you haven't heard of it, I recommend you check out my video on it. But if you want to customize your desktop, this is by far the best application to do it. It's ran by the community, quite literally, and it's just, it makes your desktop and just Windows 10 get way more cleaner. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I just hit 1000 subscribers, so thank you all for that. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, bye! The world is got in store. Uh, I wanna take it on it, I'm falling. The cityscape by night, wanna catch in my photos. Where you go, every corner twice as bright, there'll be my treasures.